In this video series, we are going to go over the user interface in 3D Coat section by section in each video. And we will start in this one by going over the tool panel and its customization capabilities. So let's get started here in the paint workspace. We can always collapse the tool panel and we have the option to hit the space bar to bring the tools to us instead. Let me do that now by hitting the space bar. Okay, so I can access the tools whenever I need them without actually having to come over to the tool panel. So to collapse the tool panel, I can come to the upper left hand side. When I see this little triangle and click on that, it will hide the tool panel. You'll notice a small triangle right here that will also expand it once again. Now, in the upper left hand corner, just to the right of that arrow, we have the text icon, which will allow us to toggle the way the tools are displayed. So we have options that we can toggle by clicking that icon. We can reduce the size or make it icons only or text only. So we can continue toggling that until we get the combination or the option that we want. Okay, now to the right of that, we have the E panel, which can be invoked with the E key, but we will talk about that in a separate video. And just above the tools, you'll see a foreground and background color swatch, just like you have in Photoshop. If we don't like the order of the tools in the tool panel, we actually can change them by customizing the user interface. To do that, we want to go to the edit menu and then click on customize UI. One of the things you may notice is that some of the tools have this X over them indicating that they are currently hidden. What I want to do to unhide those is right click over them and choose to unhide. Another thing I can do is come to the right hand side of the button and you'll see the group of dots here. As I hover over that, I'll see a move icon to where I can then left mouse button click and drag to reposition that specific tool. I will also unhide these, but I'll show another option that we can use to unhide everything. So I can click stop UI customization. I can also move my cursor over a tool, any tool, right click and then choose show all tools in section that will unhide them all. And this is applicable in other rooms as well. Let's say, for example, in the Retopo room, I can collapse or unhide these sections. And then here, maybe I want to move the brush out of this section, or perhaps I want to reposition this sharp edges tool. So once more, I can come to the edit menu, click on customize UI, and yeah, maybe I want to move the brush tool here at the, at the very top. So move it till you see a highlight indicating where it will be properly placed. Then release the left mouse button. So it's at the top and I want to move this sharp edges at the bottom. And this is the arrangement that I would prefer and it will stay that way until I make any subsequent changes at any future point. Another thing that I should point out is when you right click, you can restore the default order of these tools. We can move the section as well. If we want the UV section to be above this, which it may not make much sense, but if we wanted to do that, we could. We can collapse these sections. One other thing I should also mention is inertia. So you can left mouse button click and drag and quickly flick to go to the top or the bottom. Another feature of the tool panel is that it has tool grouping available just like you see in Photoshop. An example of which would be different shape marquees located in a single tool group. Well, you have the same option here in 3D Coat. Let me show how you would go about creating your own tool group. Let's say, for example, the 3D primitives. I can tool group the 2D primitives with that. I can see that I'm still in the customization mode here. So if I come to the right hand side of the tool button, I can click and drag 
when I see the highlight on the right hand side that indicates it will create a tool group. Then release the left mouse button. And we can now observe that we have indeed created a new tool group as evidenced by the little triangle in the lower right corner of the tool button. And of course, tool grouping helps to consolidate and declutter the UI overall. If we want to remove a tool from a tool group, we can do this in reverse. Okay, let's look at one last thing. I'm going to hit the tab key and that's going to put us in minimalist mode. That means all I'm seeing in the viewport is just the model alone. So let me go ahead and hit the tab key. Here I can open up the tool panel and I'm still in minimalist mode, but I have the tool panel available to use. Again, I can collapse that. Just rely on the quick panel here using the space bar. At this point, I'm going to stop the video because we will cover the minimalist mode in a separate video. So stay tuned and thank you for watching.